I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about base keyword in uh, CSOF.NET. So, add here, uh, the first point is base keyword is used to access member of base class within a drive class. So, here I'm using base class inside to a drive class so that access the member of base class. So, let's see the example add here so add here i'm going to uh, take uh, a class giving the name first taking two integer variable a b and your or writing constructor first int t comma int q here after a equal to b, b equal to q. Now here after find something white and here add method here console cross dot to right hand method. So add here I'm going to print some equal to a plus b now here after our create class second and inherit first and here taking two integer type variable and c d and here after public creating constructor second class so at here I am going to pause at here int p int q int r and here int s and uh, that inherit of base class by using base keyword at here pausing to parameter now here C equal to R, B equal to S, and here public void model. So at here, well, method for multiplication. So add here for duplication I am going to write to console class dot to right hand method here multiplication equal to plus C into D. And here after let's go to the main method here. I'm going to create the object of second class as one equal to new second. And here, here we need to pass four parameters. See here it's uh, showing the hints. We need to pass four parameters. So first value 12, here 7, here 5, here 2. Now here after S1 that uh, going to call add method here after this one going to call mul method now here after let's execute and check is there any error so i am getting expected output so i'm equal to 19 multiplication equal to 10. now let's understand how the program work so i have paste the code already so here yeah. so at here i'm using base keyword so the use of base keyword that access member of base class inside or from drag class so if you debug the code control comes to main method here after that go inside so at here i've created a scanner uh, second class object as one by using new keyword here 
this is a constructor has a four parameter so four parameter now that call four parameter constructor so control comes to this point so add here that is a p value 12 and here that is a 8 and here that is a 9 and here that is a 7 so pq value is uh, 12 and so here this value is not 12 and here this value is 8 so since base class so at a base keyword here I'm using so that call base class constructor so now control go up here control now this point so at here that uh, uh, p value is now that is it 12 and here q value that is it 8 now here after that coincide so p value is now 12 so that go to a and q value 8 so that go to b so b value is at here 8 so since this part has been over so again control back to this point now here that go inside so r value is now 9 that go to c and here s value is 7 that go to or d so add here or that go to d now here after this part has been over so now control back to or uh, this point here now control comes to this point so s one dot add so that call add method so here in the program here that add method so now control comes to this point console dot right then so we go to a value is now here 12 b value is 8 so 12 plus 8 this value is now that print 20 and here after this part has been over control back to this point here s1 dot mul that call so mul method is now or this point here that coincide so we go to multiplication c into d so c value is now at here 9 d value is 7 9 into 7 63 so this part has been over now control back to this point so here after that coincide console dot red line that take one input for keyword and terminate the one. So the use of base keyword is to or call or base or class and your whatever the member that access the base class into the drag class. So this is the use of base keyword and second point a base class access is permitted only in constructor. So add here this is a constructor because class name and method name both are same. And here instance method. So this is an instance method here and instance drag class. So instance drag class. And here oh, the third point is oh, this keyword is not available in a static method. So let's see. Now here after let's go inside of first class. Here I'm going to create the public void and this method so add here a string passing for argument as to now here after console cross dot right hand method so add here as to that you see and here after a public a cross so add here writing this method sorry public class second so this inherits the property of first and your inside writing method public void and your this so passing the parameter as string as to and here calling this keyword this here dot here this method so see at here I am not, I did not include any static keyword, so let's execute. So, at here, the problem is of less accessible. So, this is the other thing, second. So, here, let's give at here public. Now, I execute one more time. So, this time, or uh, at here, we need to pause something like. Uh, 
So now error out. So right here this time error out. So if you include right here a static keyword. Sorry, a static we need to write. And here let's execute the code. So right here I'm getting the error. So this is not available in a static method. So this is the thing, base keyword not available in static method. Now hereafter, let's uh, see one more example. So I'm going to discuss to fastly here our base keyword. So add here, this is one parameter, two parameter, three parameter, four parameter. And your constructor, uh, uh, one parameter, two parameter, three parameter, here, no any parameter. And here, I'm using instance method here, instant method. So if you do the code control comes to main method here after that coincide so add here that creating s the second class object s1 by using new second so add here control comes to or uh, second that has no any parameter so that to here second now here that is the base or constructor so control go to this point here or base class so base class that has no any parameter so add here that the value is now a equal to c B equal to zero, C equal to zero. So this value. Now this part has been over. So again, the control go back here. D value is now zero. So if the here you know, second or uh, constructor part has been over, so control back to this point here. Cut create S2 S2 object of second class that has one parameter. So this call one parameter control comes to this point. So at here that is a 15. And 15 value go to D. And here this value is now 15 as so again that call one parameter constructor so here control comes to this point here 15 now that coincide so add here abc value is now add here 15 so this part has been over so control back to this point sorry this part here back here this p value go to d so d value is now 15 if this part has been over so control back to this point here now this is to this point so these are the steps and uh, to know all the steps how the programs work so you have to press only fn plus 11 so see at here since the program has error so i'm not going to do undo operation so undo we need to do because at here our lost program so this program here so first check is there any error so no any error so if you like to see the steps of execution of this program so you need to press f11 so see control comes to main method here after creating ss s1 object so at here that call second cross construction that is four parameter now that call the base of the constructor first here that coincide a p value go to a p value go to b here that control back to this point here that coincide r value go to c d value s value go to d so this part has been over now control back to second here s1 dot add that call add method here that prints some equal to a plus b here that go back here s1 dot mul so that call mul method here multiplicus name to d and here that part has been over console dot right now so this take one input from keyboard and terminate the output screen and this is the part so these are the steps and this program and that program almost same so please add here you write this code in or uh, editor and thereafter just press f11 to understand the steps so this program uh, I saw you because here I want to so add your base keyword and your that as a parameter as so now in this video it's over so if you have any doubt related to this so leave your comment definitely I will reply so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next thank you